She wakes up and takes up a surfboard Heads out, out from the seashore From the world in where she lives She's got no fears and worries at all right there Just the smell of salt water that's in the air And the sunrise Fly Girl Sports TV is brought to you by Hair by Lisa and Nixie. Hair, nails, facials, waxing, bikinis, jewelry, and more. Your one-stop beauty shop in Holly Eva. Surf and see for all your ocean recreation needs, including surf lessons, diving gear, and more. By Rainbow Bridge in Holly Eva. Jerry's Pizza at the Old Sugar Mill, serving pizza, sub salads, desserts, breakfast, and now delivery. Jerry's Pizza. Aloha, this is Corey with Fly Girl Sports TV, and it's time to celebrate the birthday of the man who brought the world surfing, Duke Kahanamoku. We take you down to the heart of Waikiki at Queen's Beach, under the shade of a coconut palm tree, it's so beautiful, where locals and international athletes all compete in a variety of ocean sports events. The Honolulu Surf Company's Ultimate Sup Showdown combines surfing and racing. The Pro Juniors battle it out at the HIC Pro Juniors Surf Competition. And Honolulu Bloomfield, the youngest competitor, beat out the rest during the Duke Swahine Longboard Competition. Duke Kahanamoku was and still is the embodiment of Aloha. In fact, he's considered the original ambassador of Aloha. He was a man of law, business, and extreme athleticism. His name, the Duke, was not a title or a nickname, but an actual given name. Duke Kahanamoku was named after his father, Duke Halapu Kahanamoku. Thanks for joining us. Now let's go check out the action in the water where there are international, professional, and amateur athletes all doing their thing. are perfect for pool swimming. There were no waves, no currents. It was flat and beautiful today, so clear as well. This is probably one of my favorite swims. Uh, Duke Swaggy Key put on a great show afterward. There's, the certificates are amazing as well. It's always good to eat there, but I love it just because it's so close to where I live and Waikiki is one of my favorite beaches as well. So. I wouldn't stay. time playing in the Dukes. Um, just out here to have a really good time, enjoy some volleyball, some friendship, uh, get some exercise and play against a lot of these young uh, great athletic girls. And we are down here at Queens Beach with the third annual Duke Kahanamoku Ocean Fest Beach Volleyball event. Today we have the adults playing. We've got 26 teams. We got the women, we got the men. One of the cool things, we got a, a number of collegiate athletes who play indoor as well as outdoor. And uh, really excited to see that shift. You know, the, you got the indoor uh, rules, and then out here just the two two people playing. Um, uh, between today, 26 teams today, and then tomorrow we have so far 73. So we're 99 teams. We've broken all the records this this weekend. We're going to have to build extra cords right now. We have four tomorrow. There'll be eight out here. We're really kind of running out of space to tell you the truth. But it's it's been amazing. The popularity surge. Uh, it started, I think, with the NCAA. College volleyball, they've really taken on to beach volleyball. And then you see across the country, you see the young kids, the keiki. And tomorrow, the youngest player out here will be eight years old. Really exciting to see. Well, I like surfing.
take a look at the surfboards that Duke Hanamoku used to surf in his day, the Alaya wooden surfboard, which has no fins, is extremely thin and very, very, very hard to ride. Then we'll take you down to the Hawaiian Island Creation HIC Pro Junior Women's Competition, where the girls these days are riding fiberglass boards. Falling, falling in love 
A check for four hundred dollars goes to Bailey Nash. <laughs> and that means this year's HIC Pro Junior Women's Champion with a check for one thousand dollars goes to none other than Moana Joe. It was hard because there was like a 10 minute lull and there was no wave so we were all and I didn't catch a wave yet so I was kind of stressed out and I caught a wave and I caught towards the end of the heat I caught two really good waves and I was really happy. Yeah I'm really thankful that I'm a part of this sport and I got to do this wonderful contest. I'm thankful that Duke taught us all how to surf and started all of it. So I know a little bit about him. I did a surf report and uh, I read about him and uh, I think it's really cool what he did. You know, the pioneer of surfing and I think that, you know, we wouldn't, none of us would be here if he didn't start it. So I think it's really cool what he did. I know a little bit about him. I mean, yeah, of course he is my hero because he's the one who basically started surfing in Hawaii and this is where I grew up. It was really hard. <laughs> I'm huge. <laughs> this is like so small. Like, I mean, it, it's been all right during the entire event, but it's, overall it's been probably the hardest contest I've ever surfed in my life. It was good. I love this contest. It's a fun contest, especially because there's so many different like events in it. It's cool. Yeah, like my I, my sister's in it too. So. Wakes up and takes up a surfboard Heads out, out from the seashore From the world in where she lives She's got no fears of worries at all right there Just the smell of salt water Aloha! Increase your living space with an easy-to-assemble portable yurt. Whether you need an extra room for guests, an office, or a place to relax, our yurts are strong, safe, economical, and just plain genius solution. You can choose from an array of sizes and colors to fit your lifestyle. For the highest quality and custom yurts made right here in Hawaii, call Yurts Hawaii at 808-256-0559 or check us out at www.yurtshawaii.com. Live simply, strong, and smart. This segment is brought to you by Mariah Melanie, hair and makeup. We're here down in Waikiki next to the wall at the Surfboard Water Polo Competition where we have the, oh, here they go, we have the Maori from New Zealand, the Maori Seals against Punahou from Hawaii. And what's hard about this sport is that you have to stay on the board no matter how shallow the water is or how hard you get knocked over. This was a sport that Duke Hanamoku and his boys loved to play. And it is exciting. Next, we'll give you the highlights from the Outrigger Resort and Hotels Lifeguard Competition, and then we'll take you to the Duke's Wahine Longboard Competition, where the top two finalists will compete and qualify for the world title in China. So check it out. Duke! 
Do you want to bring your guard in here or drop it in the water? Captain Paul Marino. Oh. Pretty much, it was a battle amongst all uh, legs of the race, the swimming, the running, the paddleboard, and the stand-up, so I think it was a really good showing, and it's, it's awesome to kind of see the, the lifeguarding races kind of revive, so hopefully it continues that way. All right. And they're off. And they're off, looks like. Oh, diving on the first run. So one out for Japan. They're off. Oh, they're bumping and brewing right there. California goes across. Okay, we'll get a flag. Here we go for top three. Everybody's thinking it looks like Hawaii is eliminated. Japan hanging in there. Does that for first place? Oh, we're going to start from Japan. And Team Delta. Bumble, but he recovers his own fumble receipt. All right. California came in the way. Nice job. Congratulations. Good play. This is our first beach flag competition. The Prodigy Honolulu Bluefield. That's right. Making dad. Well, most of the time, it's just like I try to catch the first wave, but and like since the conditions are so bad, that sounded like a good theory for me and I did and then I like went back out and then a girl got a set and then I had to like find another wave after that like and then I caught like a couple more waves in the middle in between while everyone was sitting way out the back I snuck into a couple and then in the end I got one set from a girl and then I guess that's how I won is her dad she's a goddess but i can't tell if she's good or bad she's mysterious like a midnight storm on the ocean the strong undertow drags out my I'm 
what you want, you feel me? This is what we gon' do. I'll leave you a seat. Got your back, girl, I got your back. Go ahead and tell them what it is. It's Chuck C.U. Both like yours, they got a big bar. Aloha! Increase your living space with an easy-to-assemble portable yurt. Whether you need an extra room for guests, an office, or a place to relax, our yurts are strong, safe, economical, and just plain genius solution. You can choose from an array of sizes and colors to fit your lifestyle. For the highest quality and custom yurts made right here in Hawaii, call Yurts Hawaii at 808-256-0559 or check us out at www.yurtshawaii.com. Live simply, strong, and smart. Thousands of cigarette butts litter our parks and beaches. It's kawaii in the ashtray. Smokers, if you're in your car or at the beach, hang on to your butts. Protect ocean wildlife and keep kawaii clean. A reminder from the Surfrider Foundation. This segment is brought to you by WSSM, Women's Surf Style Magazine, the number one surf magazine for women and girls in the USA. Aloha, we're at Waikiki at the Duke's Ocean Fest and we have Summer and we have Mahina who just paddled the Duke's Keiki Paddle race. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> so how did the race go, you guys? Um, it was fun. Yeah, I was kind of I was kind of nervous, but it was fun. <laughs> we have fourth place winner right here and we have fun place winner right here. Were there any strategies that you had? Um, just have fun. <laughs> and go for your best. <laughs> and then was there any obstacles out there? Um, no, the, but the waves were like constantly running yeah. at us. So. Is that a good thing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and how do you guys feel about being here all for Duke Hanamoku? Um, I think it's a, a blessing God gave us to have, to live in Hawaii. And to have the beach in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> And if he was standing here right now, what's one thing you would say to him? Um, that you're a really good surfer and I'm glad surfing exists. Right on. Can you throw us a shaka? <laughs> No, we really thought those knee boards were bad. But thank God, man, it turns out they're lonely. I kind of lost weight, but it was super fun, and I. It just, it just made me happy to race again because I didn't race in like a long time. the Duke's paddle race and it is extremely exciting. We've got a fly girl coming in right here. Thank you to all of you who support ocean athletes, especially women ocean athletes. And thank you to our sponsors as well as Mariah Melanie for doing hair and makeup. And we will see you next time on another exciting episode of Fly Girl Sports TV.
Whenever I think about what I lost I change my mind instead of what I still got Cause I got you I said I got you You can call me Papa And I'll call you baby But don't forget that your mama's mine you go Whatever you do I said I'll be there I'll be there for you Soon enough you know I'll be around But that ain't soon enough Cause it ain't right now And I need you I said I got you Close your eyes and you drift to sleep From time to time I hope you run into me I'm thinking of you I hope you see me too Well, you can call me Papa And I'll call you baby But don't forget that your mama's mine Sports TV is brought to you by Hair by Lisa and Nixie. Hair, nails, facials, waxing, bikinis, jewelry, and more. Your one-stop beauty shop in Holly Eva. Surf and Sea for all your ocean recreation needs, including surf lessons, diving gear, and more. By Rainbow Bridge in Holly Eva. Jerry's Pizza at the Old Sugar Mill, serving pizza, sub salads, desserts, breakfast, and now delivery. Jerry's Pizza. She wakes up and takes up a surfboard Heads out, out from the seashore From the world of where she lives